and it's a house of dwelling and union. And I am convinced that the greatest places of your intimacy with God can be at your dinner table. That the most powerful encounters with God could be at your bedtimes with your kids. That in your waking and your going, and your eating and your sleeping, that your house can be a house of the Holy Spirit. That the power of God can move. That your neighborhood literally has a lighthouse and a witness of the kingdom of God because something has happened in your home. Because this is what God's dream is. To dwell. To dwell. And he doesn't like doing it at 10.30 on Sundays. He likes doing it in you wherever you go. And he wants to mark your house. He wants to mark your house with a supernatural reality of his love, of his faithfulness, of his kindness, of his mercy and his hope. And it's time to let God consecrate the altar of your heart.